Autodesk, we stand for those who do what it takes. To find new ways past whatever problem stands in our way. To turn what's wrong with right now into what's better about what's next. So let's get out there and do just that. Let's go do what doers love to do. Let's not wait for progress. Let's make it. Autodesk it. Whether your job involves making greener buildings or cleaner cars, smarter factories or bigger blockbusters, it's not a lack of ideas that stifles innovation. Executing on those ideas is the difficult part, especially when this involves moving subsets of data back and forth between multiple products. Nobody becomes an architect, engineer or animator to do this kind of non-creative work. Repeatedly rooting through reams of data doesn't make the projects you work on or the work you do more meaningful, which is why we're using Forge to connect the capability of our products. So instead of having to navigate multiple products, you will work fluidly in one environment. One environment for media and entertainment, one for architecture, engineering, and construction, and one for manufacturing. So much has changed for manufacturing firms in the past 18 months. The tightly controlled model for manufacturing has been stretched for a long time, but especially during the pandemic. And being born of Six Sigma, this model hasn't stretched well. Supply chains have broken, production has been disrupted, and many companies have spent day after day fighting for survival. To give the industry the resiliency and the agility that it's needed for so long, we've invested in connecting the entire manufacturing ecosystem with open and extensible data flows in the cloud. And as you've heard already, Forge is the foundation for all of this work. Forge is what will enable data to be exchanged fluidly between our products, as well as with other products critical to your operations. It's what will free your project data from the shackles of proprietary file types. And it's what will make your data available at the right level of granularity to everyone who needs it, regardless of their role or which product they're using. Let's check out the integration that we've built between Inventor and Revit. We've leveraged Forge to make DFMA, or Design for Manufacturing and Assembly, a more fluid process. We're enabling those of you who do this type of work in Inventor to do it in the context of the building you're designing for using the Revit model itself as a reference. So if you're working on this metal walkway in Inventor and the architect you're working with moves the location of that walkway six inches to the right in Revit, you'll see that update directly in Inventor. The two designs are always in sync, helping coordinate work between architects, designers, engineers, fabricators, and those critical installation teams. This fluent data flow between Inventor and Revit helps avoid waste and rework by eliminating costly surprises late in the design process, or even worse, out on the job site. So much of the uncertainty that plagues the construction industry can be addressed by bringing manufacturing to the front of the many different phases of designing a building. When we do this, the design can proceed with so much more certainty. Certainty on building products translates to certainty on cost, certainty on waste, certainty on so many of the outcomes that hold our industries back. These design for manufacturing and assembly workflows are our first step, but they show the progress we're making connecting our products using Forge as the platform that will eventually underpin all our customers' workflows. By leveraging Forge, we've been able to converge Fusion's design and make capabilities and surface them as part of an open and extensible data model in the cloud. This cloud data model helps us connect with other products and partners as well. Take our recent acquisition of Upchain, for example, which is already being integrated with the Fusion environment. Upchain's cloud-native PLM capabilities are open and extensible. It works natively with Inventor, AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS data just as well as it works with Fusion data. Upchain surfaces project metadata from all of these solutions, valuable information like cost and supplier data, rather than leaving it locked away in proprietary file formats. By dramatically simplifying the process of managing and sharing data, we're empowering engineers and manufacturers 
as well as their suppliers and stakeholders to work together collaboratively, focusing not on administration, but on innovation. Now that our customer's project data is in the cloud, Fusion can automate many of the design and make processes that drag teams and their productivity down. One of the first things we've automated is converting mesh data into editable CAD geometry, helping designers and engineers take scan data into an editable format quickly and easily, helping you move from concept to engineering faster than ever before. The cloud unlocks entirely new ways of working with mesh data and entirely new ways of exploring design concepts. Our new generative modeling capabilities deliver a brand new way to model parametrically with generative features. This allows you to work in fast iterations from design concept all the way through manufacturing. It offers real-time feedback for design in the context of the engineer's work, all directly from Fusion, while ensuring manufacturability and affordability from the very start. And just as we continue to make generative design tools more accessible from an ease of use perspective, we do the same from a cost perspective. The extension framework in Fusion allows all customers to pay for just the capabilities they need to complete their work and nothing more. But Fusion's extension framework isn't just for Autodesk to extend Fusion's capabilities. This extensible framework allows partners to build workflows that do the same. Partners like ANSYS, who are building their electromagnetic simulation capabilities into the Fusion environment, helping designers and engineers working on smart products obtain insights into the performance of their product's electronics early and often in the design process. Insights that cut down on testing and certification costs and costly PCB prototyping. So what other automated workflows will come from our investment in data? With project data in the cloud, we can leverage AI to automate many of the downstream tasks that get in the way of you shipping your products. Because Autodesk understands high fidelity drawings better than anyone in the industry, we're able to use AI to help automatically generate fully dimensioned drawings once a design is released to manufacturing. Obviously, you'll always be able to edit the results and tweak the drawings, but why shouldn't we let AI take some of the monotony out of the process? And that's not the only downstream process we're working to automate. For machine parts, we're also working on automatically generating machine code to drive your CNC equipment. Combined with the capabilities from our recent acquisitions of Camplete and Simco, we can simulate those toolpaths and send the job directly to the controller on the CNC machine. Our vision is to help you automate the mundane tasks that get in the way of making the products that are so important to your business, like automating drawings and G-code, and eventually everything else that you might need for any aspect of your production. Hopefully you can see that Autodesk is reshaping the way products are designed and manufactured. We're leveraging the Forge platform to connect everyone with a single data model in the cloud, helping all of you remove barriers, break down silos, and reach new heights in your businesses automating documentation, automating the generation of G-code, removing guesswork and grunt work. The Forge cloud platform is fundamental to this. And because Fusion is more integrated with Forge than any of our other offerings, what you see today with Fusion is what you can expect to see as we build cloud environments for our other industries. But what about the building industry? When we were confronted with a new reality, some things in AEC hit a breaking point. Construction's labor shortage got worse, new project starts declined, and the price of raw materials like lumber, it swung dramatically. This uncertainty hit planning and procurement, contracts and contractors, and designers and engineers who spent their entire careers working in an office had to figure out how to work remotely. What the industry needs are solutions that are interoperable and accessible, extensible, and more than anything, open. In the last year, the industry felt the squeeze of having to do more with less. And with everyone working remotely, building in infrastructure design teams faced extraordinary fragmentation. To compensate, 
many firms move from designing on local servers to working together in the cloud. And now they're more digitally connected than ever before. When projects enter the construction phase, managing project data becomes even more challenging. Dozens of firms assemble for a project, each trying to deliver quality work on time and on budget. Disconnected processes between firms can slow down or prevent collaboration. Concerns about permissions can allow out-of-date information to linger in the field. These challenges lead to delays and rework, but there's a bigger problem as well. The project data becomes fragmented and meaningful insights are lost in a series of data silos and disconnected data sets. To design, construct, and operate with more certainty, we have to break these silos down. And that's what we are doing with Forge. We are connecting your data within and also between design, construction, operations, and manufacturing. This isn't just a vision of the future. It's what we are working on now, using Forge to build fluent workflows between Revit and Inventor. With Forge, we are unlocking Revit data for use in non-Autodesk applications too. Just like data flows between Revit and Inventor, soon Revit data will pass directly to Microsoft Power Automate, making BIM data available for a wide variety of uses, giving granular visibility into projects and making it easier to supply up-to-date information to partners without having to pass files back and forth. If an object parameter changes in a model, a supplier won't have to dig through a huge file to find the change. Instead, designers will be able to create an automation to instantly give their supplier the exact information they need. That's just one example, but with Revit data unlocked, you will not be limited to the constraints of proprietary file formats. A few years ago, we launched a partnership with Esri, and this year, Esri launched ArcGIS GeoBIM, which enables teams to visualize project data in a single cloud-to-cloud -cloud environment. With data fully interoperable between the BIM design solution and geographic information system, designers can visualize architectural and engineering assets in their real-world locations, making it possible to design and build in the context of the real environment. With more context comes more clarity and more certainty for designers, engineers, and all project stakeholders. GeoBIM brings together data, people, and workflows that have been traditionally separate. That's pretty exciting. And it's something we've been doing in construction as well. We're enabling general contractors, specialty contractors, and owners to control how their data is accessed, shared, and managed at every stage. This gives the industry powerful tools that deliver both collaboration and control. Collaboration between teams, between workflows, between each phase of the design and construction lifecycle. So the right people are able to see accurate information no matter who they work for. Autodesk Construction Cloud connects work and data across phases and between teams in one unified environment. Last year, we brought project management, design collaboration, takeoff, quality, safety, and cost together, all sharing a single data environment, all leveraging machine learning to transform data into insights. This is construction management without compromise. This year, we built data flows between pipe, Autodesk build, Autodesk docs, and assemble to simplify cross-team collaboration. We added more customization and control to cost management. We expanded our integrations with top ERP solutions. And this fall, we're introducing Bridge in Autodesk Construction Cloud. Bridge is the future of collaboration between teams. With Bridge, collaboration can happen by sharing just the data, not the full project. Data that should stay within one firm's walls never gets shared. But critical information like drawings, issues, and documents are immediately available across all linked projects, ensuring that documentation isn't disconnected and fragmented. Last year, Autodesk acquired SpaceMaker. This technology helps evaluate sites being considered for development. SpaceMaker provides instant analysis of a site and helps designers explore different options in real time to help them make better informed decisions. This year, we are adding climate analysis 
and instant analysis for road noise to SpaceMaker. Harnessing machine learning to cut down on a process that takes weeks to perform by traditional methods into one that happens instantly or even predictively. By removing friction between design and analysis, we are making it easier for designers to adopt outcome-driven design processes and making it easier for developers to select sites that fit their needs, leading to better designs and better outcomes for everyone involved, from the owner to the occupant. What about unlocking valuable insights based on how people actually use our software? Today, AutoCAD surfaces insights based on how you use AutoCAD. Soon, AutoCAD will surface recommended macros that will save you time. At the exact moment, it would be most useful. We are just getting started with this kind of usage-based insight. In the years to come, we'll roll out usage-based recommendations and insights tailored specifically to each user's unique needs across even more of our portfolio. There are other types of insights we are working on too. We are delivering insights to make it easier to design and build sustainably, like Total Carbon, which is now available in the Revit preview. Total Carbon combines Revit data, open source energy analysis, and material carbon data in the cloud to give designers real-time, accurate, reliable total carbon analysis. We call this total carbon because you can run analysis on both operational and embodied carbon, from the earliest conceptual designs through construction and operation, which will make it easier to design for the right outcomes and for designers and builders to meet their customers' goals for environmental performance. Reducing our industry's carbon footprint is a hugely important and worthy goal. And it's not the only place we are making an impact in terms of sustainability. Earlier this year, we acquired Innovize, which is used by cities, water authorities, and companies around the world to model and manage one of our most precious resources, water. This year, we are expanding Info360, Innovize's cloud-based solution for enabling dynamic digital twins for the water sector to include Info360 Asset. Info360 Asset lets utilities and owners determine risk and make informed maintenance decisions for all assets in their network by bringing together a vast array of real-time data, geospatial context, hydraulics, and predictive survival curves, and allowing for both operations and maintenance plus capital planning in a single web-based environment. Everything you've seen today is part of our work to connect the entire life cycle of a project in the Forge platform. From the earliest design through construction to operations and maintenance, we've made tremendous progress towards that goal, but we are just getting started. I spend a lot of time talking to our customers in the AEC industry. From those conversations, one thing is very clear. Breaking down the data silos that exist across a project's life cycle isn't just a nice to have, it's a necessity. That's why we're using Forge to connect all the capabilities of our AEC products and surface them all in one single environment. But we have a lot of products to connect in AEC. The volume of products serving the AEC industry reflects just how fragmented it is. So this is gonna take some time, but we're working hard to get there. Now, demand for construction may have shifted during the pandemic, but this was nothing compared to media and entertainment. During the last year, the industry dealt with the pandemic. It responded fast, virtualizing rapidly thanks to its already digital workflows. Several years of change were all compressed into a few months. And today, the industry understands that it needs to continue to evolve if it's going to keep up with future demand. Demand that requires creating better content, faster, and with the right amount of resources. To do this, the industry needs to connect its processes and automate its workflows to drive efficiencies and unlock valuable insights. That's why we are helping move film and TV production to the cloud and are investing in supporting open data standards so that producers, artists, and supervisors can manage and automate the flow of creative and technical processes, scale up and down easily, and keep their vast amount of data accessible 
and in context. Chakrid is an integral part of how we put streamline production management at the heart of the pipeline. But we're going far beyond that. We're building a cloud-based production ecosystem for media and entertainment, a single environment with all the capabilities that producers, artists, and supervisors need to succeed. And it's enabled by Forge. The cloud is making all types of production more efficient, but it's also making them more resilient. Resilience is what all industries are striving for, but that's only possible with open data standards and trusted security protocols. Last year, we talked about our commitment to helping develop open standards and integrating them into our products. Open standards enable consistency and connection within pipelines and fluid workflows. That's what you need in order to deliver amazing entertainment experiences without having to worry so much about all the products you need to deliver them. This is a multi-year journey, but we're well on our way. We are engaging closely with strategic industry partners like Movie Labs, an industry lab jointly run by major studios who want to help guide the industry to the future of film and TV production. We share the same vision they have, that by 2030, the cloud will be central to production. Movie Labs envisions a seismic change in the industry founded on three pillars a new cloud foundation, security and access, and software-defined workflows. We believe that their principles will ensure that the industry continues to become more agile and more productive. This vision also underpins our efforts to virtualize and connect entire production pipelines. Our partner, Weta Digital, is one of the world's most talented visual effects studios. They have created award-winning visual effects and animation tools that help their artists produce films and TV series like The Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. Together with Weta Digital, we are opening up these tools to the entire entertainment ecosystem with Weta M. It's a new production pipeline service that seamlessly integrates with Maya. From artist tools to next-gen procedural workflows and AI-assisted architectures, with Weta M, more studios and more artists will be able to create better content without having to worry about building the tools themselves. It will raise the bar for production globally. But what we're doing with our partners is just half the story. We're also bringing our own tools to the cloud by leveraging Forge. Whether geometry creation or procedural animation, Bifrost makes the creation of complex visual effects more accessible. And its new UI helps provide artists with even greater interactivity, allowing them to drag any parameter and see updates immediately, or even edit a graph midway through a simulation. We are bringing the capabilities of Bifrost to Forge so that customers can integrate them more easily into end-to-end -end production workflows. Imagine advanced users being able to quickly iterate on complex simulations utilizing actual production assets already in the cloud. They will be able to make decisions in context of the entire production pipeline. Or imagine a new user, even one from an entirely different industry, being able to make compelling effects from custom graphs and presets, ideating and iterating quickly. We're also bringing machine learning into the cloud such as those currently within Flame, our compositing tool. Today, machine learning in Flame automates tasks such as tracking cameras and objects and isolating skies or facial features. And by multiplying these capabilities using the cloud, we are taking the grunt work out of repetitive tasks, helping artists work faster and spend more time being creative. And our vision doesn't stop with content creation. We are working on cloud-based services for production management as well. As projects get more complex and teams more distributed, it becomes even more vital for producers to have a real-time, high-level view of production. To meet that need, we are bringing the capabilities of generative scheduling to Forge. Generative scheduling allows producers and production management teams to optimize schedules for complex productions and explore and evaluate trade-offs, all in a matter of minutes. On Forge, customers will be able to integrate sophisticated scenario planning and schedule optimization into their workflows. And this isn't limited to the entertainment industry. Any business can benefit from planning and responding to inevitable change and allowing their teams to do the highest quality creative work in the right amount of time with the right amount of resources. 
by unlocking the capabilities of powerful content creation and production management tools, and by bringing them to the cloud, we are continuing our journey to a cloud-based production environment for the media and entertainment industry. Whether you work in the production studio or on the construction site, on the factory floor, or on the kitchen table, closed proprietary solutions won't solve the problems of teams that are distributed let alone industries that are fragmented. What we all need now, more than ever, is clarity and certainty. And that comes from solutions that are open. That's why the fluent workflows that we're building on Forge are all about making project data available to everyone who needs it, regardless of which product they are using. We're already making real progress with this, but we're restless to do more. And tomorrow, our new CTO, Raji Arasu, is going to talk about how Forge plays into all of this. She's going to talk about how we're converging the capabilities of our products, how we're connecting your processes and automating your workflows, how we're building fluent data flows that have real potential to help you with the outcomes you care most about. So tune in tomorrow to hear how our platform can help innovators everywhere converge on solutions to the challenges they face today.